I say, I used to know when Hunter was due to come to Washington because I would start to get his mail. Uh, <laughs> he would have it forwarded, which was a sure sign that soon he would be on our doorstep. Uh, I, I don't know what uh, Senator McGovern said about uh, Hunter's book, Fear and Loathing on the Camp Tra Campaign Trail, but I have been quoted many times, and I'll say it again. It was the most accurate and least factual account of that campaign. <laughs> say one other thing. That book was written for Rolling Stones as the, as the campaign progressed. It wasn't something written from the hindsight of the campaign. Those right, chapters right. rolled off. Uh, his uh, typewriter as the campaign uh, moved along and um, it was really rather remarkable the foresight he had as to what was going to happen so I must say I run into that book even yet all over this country it's uh, become a kind of a folk piece of the 72 campaign. The tragedy of all, tragedy of all this is that George McGovern for all his mistakes and all his imprecise talk about new politics and honesty of government, in quote, is one of the few men who have run for president of the United States in this century who really understands what a fantastic monument to all the best instincts of the human race this country might have been if we could have kept it out of the, if we could have kept it out of the hands of greedy little hustlers like Richard Dixon. McGovern made some stupid mistakes. But in context, they seem almost frivolous compared to the things Richard Nixon does every day of his life on purpose as a matter of policy and a perfect expression of everything he stands for. Jesus, where will it end? How low do you have to stoop in this country to be president? Mm -hmm.